I can't stop thinking about this story I read about perversion in the prediction markets. So basically, you know, you and I make a bet that something's going to happen. Um, and the case in point was to do with a labour dispute. Uh, and so a guy bet that there was going to be a strike somewhere. And then uh, the Twitter account of the local union uh, started talking about this strike. And, and you know, that naturally affected the, the odds on the prediction market. And a guy, you know, was about to lose a lot of money. Um, and it turned out this Twitter account was actually nothing to do with the union. It had been created, you know, quite independently. And the followers, who were all Brazilian, had been purchased online. This was a labor union in Portland, Oregon. All of the followers were Brazilian. And it does just bring home the point how vulnerable the infrastructure that we've built that has no identity layer, no proper authentication, no authorization, how vulnerable that infrastructure is to being subverted not not just in say, the big you know fake news kind of narrative but in a, in a million little ways every day and unless we find some way some new vector to bring you know essentially verifiable credentials into the marketplace i things are just going to continue to fracture i i don't understand why the priority of digital identity isn't isn't recognized not not just by banks and and but but everybody